When people talk about Volvo, the conversations are quite serious, and I guess that's because it appeals to the more serious driver. The conversations might revolve around the brand's particular bent on styling or their interest in self-driving cars, and certainly they talk about safety. But if you're interested in one of those conversations, well then, you're out of luck, because today there'll be none of that. And that's because this is a Volvo like we haven't seen for a very long time from the usually conservative Swedes. This is the S60 Polestar, a track-tuned version of their usually very sensible S60 sedan. And if you're wondering where the Polestar name comes from, think of it as Volvo's version of AMG or M Division. But they're also slightly different. They're not just a bunch of engineers sitting in a warehouse in the corner of Sweden somewhere who get their kicks by taking the cars off the production line and making them faster. They run their own race team and they have done for the last 20 years. They started out running Volvo's Swedish touring car program and now they do it all over the world. And according to them, working together for so long on such a scale has given them the perfect insight on how to make the perfect performance Volvo. And there's been quite a lot of work done on this car to get it to the point that it can deliver some impressive stuff. I'm not sure if they started the upgrade process with the styling or whether it was the last step in the process, but it is the first thing you'll notice. The shouty blue color is not in the least bit subtle and neither are the 20-inch wheels. But they work and so do the front splitter and rear diffuser and spoiler which not only look good but also help with the airflow around the car. The regular S60 is a nice looking car. The Polestar with its extra bits and pure cyan paint job is a striking thing with just the right balance of style and aggression. The aggression part of that equation becomes a little more obvious once you're on the road where the straight six three litre turbo puts out 258 kilowatts, 500 newton meters and gives this car a sub five second naught to a hundred time. But more than the acceleration and the occasional spit and crackle from the exhaust pipe, what makes it really good is that it takes something that is quite mild and turns it into something quite mad. It was pretty startling the first time I put my foot down for an overtake. The six-speed auto clicks down a gear or two and very quickly after that, the whole character of the car changes. The new personality isn't just down to some trick software. Polestar chucked in a new turbo and a new intercooler and from there they just kept on adding stuff. A stiffer suspension setup with new springs and shocks, a recalibrated ESP system, a recalibrated gearbox with pedal shifters. Polestar have done all of that and added their own all-wheel drive system and taken a car that is generally very sensible and turned it into something that can put a smile on your face. Volvos are generally good for reasons other than you'd find on a racetrack. But here, the S60 Polestar really does deliver performance fun. A blend of looks, power, noise, and grip. You can be quite irresponsible to a point when coming out of a corner, but there's no need to be analytical or overthink it too much. Just plant your foot and the all-wheel drive system does a great job of sorting out the traction. It certainly got more talent than you need for most everyday trips, and the line between cornering quickly and ending up in a hedge doesn't seem to be a very fine one. The S60 Polestar feels quite forgiving. Even the brakes are up to the task. After a morning of bashing them around a racetrack, they stayed solid. There are downsides to the performance adjustments. First of all, the turning circle is, well, it's useless. And the damper settings aren't adjustable, which means you can't change them for in-town driving, which means you get a fairly hard ride. And the gear changes are quite hard as well. You can adjust the steering feel, although those settings are just varying degrees of artificial. And those are really the only things to moan about.
The interior hasn't been given an over-the-top boy racer finish, just a classy carbon center stack and some good grippy seats. The Alcantara accents are a nice touch, and overall it's just an upper-class decently laid out Volvo interior with the same spec, including the safety bits you'd expect to find elsewhere in the range. About the closest thing you can get competition-wise to this car is the Audi S4, which is a little less powerful and a little more expensive. But even if it was better on paper, I think I'd still go for the Polestar, because it's as good as the competition, but it's also very surprising. Here's a Volvo that has all the styling and all the spec and all the safety, and in a lot of ways is as serious as any other Volvo, but it can also be a lot of fun. Two hundred and fifty-eight kilowatts and five hundred newton meters bless the Volvo S60 Polestar with impressive acceleration. The quick-shifting six-speed automatic gearbox has been upgraded to a paddle shift unit. It's as safe and stylish as any other Volvo, but also has true performance ability and delivers a lot of enjoyment. It has some downsides when it comes to everyday driving, but they're far too minor to overshadow the overall fun.